I've conducted a small experiment with regard to different AI detection tools in terms of detecting artificial intelligence generated content as well as removing artificial intelligence generated content as you know a lot of universities and websites would not like to have AI generated content although it may be helpful for you to leverage some of the main tasks to AI and focus on creativity and more productive tasks and the results show that uh, these tools are really different in terms of the AI detection percentage let's say we have AI detection pro that has detected 98% uh, of the content I have just generated using ChatGPT4 as being uh, artificial intelligence content, whereas the other tools, let's say, and detectable AI, CopyLeaks, ZeroGPT, Contentate Scale, these are tools that vary in terms of uh, detection as well as uh, removal. So I'm going to present this experiment to you so as to see which platform and web-based, let's say, uh, generation detection or let's say uh, AI generation detection and removal is more suitable to you. So we have this uh, platform that is AI Detection Pro. I can just go to it. I just uh, generated this essay. I tried to trim it a little bit in this way, but it's the same and then I pasted it into AI detection or the AI detector pro. So I got the, the report that says that it is uh, artificial intelligence essay. So I can just uh, go back to it. So it's 98 as you can see. And here are the uh, highlights that uh, show which parts are more uh, probably to be written by AI. So now I need to uh, let's say get rid of the artificial intelligence uh, parts and I need to uh, paraphrase it so that I, uh, it is more human-like uh, let's say content especially if it is a mechanical task or something like this I will need to go to AI eraser and then it will show me paragraphs that contain cases of AI so I can just uh, select them and I click suggest and it will provide me with some of the suggestions usually five suggestions so I need to pick up which one seems to be more uh, suitable for me. So I can just pick up this one and then I can do the same for the second paragraph and then click suggest and then I will see what will happen. Again, I will have uh, five suggestions here. I need to pick up one that uh, suits me the best. So once I pick it up, this will change so you can notice the content will be paraphrased i don't need quailbot or any other third party website so this is really enough in terms of paraphrasing and then i can just select this one again and click suggest and see which suggestion is going to be uh, more suitable to me so that i can choose it let's say i have this one again that's it if i rescan uh, let's notice the AI score. If I rescan, the AI score will go from 90% uh, to 2%. So 90 and above percent to 2%. This is good. So I can just copy this and paste it to other uh, platforms, Zero GPT among others. And the results have been like this, as you can see. So here it says that it is AI. Uh, the GPT generated that is zero and this one again it shows that it is 100% human like uh, generated content and then the other uh, platforms like originality and uh, copy leaks are, are really not user friendly because they don't give you uh, this experience to try the website so they have payment gateways but this app you can try it uh, or this website you can try it for free so it gives you the right to to free trial without asking you for credit card or anything like this website does along with the other one uh, this one again it asks you to provide your uh, credit card information among others so that's why I see that uh, AI eraser uh, uh, from AI detector pro is the most 
convenient and the most, let's say, accurate one. It reduces, it uh, let's say, the text artificial intelligence content by 98% uh, of the accuracy and it removes it from 98 to 5% to even zero if tested by other software. The other software or applications or rather website uh, based applications do not provide uh, accurate uh, let's say estimates of artificial intelligence generated content especially when we are talking about uh, chat gpt4 model which is the uh, recent uh, gpt that is uh, integrated into chat gpt uh, and uh, instead of gpt 3.5 so i think this is it all uh, you will find everything in the description if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon